Hello JJ community, hello yoga community, and welcome back to the yoga mat with me. Today I'm coming from Sankalpa Yoga Studio located at True Blue Resort in Grenada. And today's yoga class is all about winding down. It's a gentle, restorative practice that's perfect before bedtime, perfect before you want to go into a meditation practice. If you're feeling overwhelmed by life, you're feeling like stress and anxiety or taking over, and you need some help rediscovering your center line, your inner access, that space between your roots and the crown of your head. So um, this is that type of class. You don't need any yoga props, and we will be lying down for the entire practice. So with that said, unroll your yoga mat, get ready to relax, and we'll begin on our backs. Okay, we are beginning lying down on our backs with our knees bent and our feet hip width distance, knees tractioning with the hips and over the feet as well. So we're starting with pelvic rocks. This is something I learned in my chakra yoga training and it's really good to loosen up the sacrum. This is really nice to do after you've been sitting for too long. I've been doing it quite a bit myself throughout the day. And it's also going to access your svadhisthana, your sacral chakra. So this is your place of emotional well-being, pleasure, um, intimacy on a sexual level. So there's a lot going on in this space and it's located right here at your womb, which is why we'll be doing pelvic rocks. So palms down by your side. And the goal here is to let your muscles completely relax in the belly region. You want to push into your feet. So as you rock, your head and your chin begin to bob up and down and you just allow yourself to get fully into the motion. So if you want to peer up here as we begin, you use your leg muscles only. You can have your palms face up towards the sky and you just begin to rock. No effort in the belly. Close your eyes, allow yourself to get into the, into the movement of it. Start to invite your breath into your body and onto your mat with you and feel the fluidity that's happening. Water is the element of the Svadhisthana chakra, so allow yourself to move like water. No boundaries, no edges, taking up space wherever you want. Keep going. Use your leg muscles to make the movement happen. Let go of the belly and just rock it out. About 30 more seconds here. The more you use your legs, the more you release your belly, the more you can really bob with it. <laughs> and one last breath. And relax into center. Hmm. Just take a moment. Notice the effects. Notice if you feel a tingling, energetic sensation down in your Svadhisthana chakra. All right. Feeling centered, feeling really soft now, like our sacrum can relax. Let's bring our knees up towards the chest and bring the knees together using your hands to keep them together and begin to make circles on the ceiling with your knees. Let's start off by going clockwise. 
keeping the knees together. They don't have to be big circles. Again, we're just massaging the sacrum. The lower back. <sighs> Feel free to take some big breaths and sigh it out. <sighs> this is that type of practice that when you feel like your chest, like your breath is completely in your chest and like you're only activating your nervous system and bringing that fight or flight mode into your energy, I want you to come to this practice. And for me, that happens quite a bit. Yeah, because we're human. Let's go counterclockwise. Circles, keep the knees together. Use your hands to direct the movement. Keep some nice core engagement here, just gentle. And relax in neutral, maybe hug the knees in just a little bit tighter. And release the feet down to the mat. Coming into bridge waves. So again, stack your body up. We want our feet shoulder or hip width distance, excuse me. Push down into your heels on an inhale. Lift your hips, send your arms overhead. Big breath. Exhale, wave it down. Upper back, middle back, low back. Arms come down to the mat. As soon as they touch, inhale, rise up. Exhale, melt it down, wave it down. <sighs> Inhale, rise up. Exhale, allow yourself to wave down, undulate the body. Mm. Two more times. Inhale, wave it up. Exhale, bring it back down. Upper back, middle back, lower back, sacrum, hands plant. Last time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, release it down. All right, so I know this is a gentle practice, but we are doing one set of core. Why? Because we want to just activate some of the energy in the Manipura, in the solar plexus chakra. We can get really caught up with our power. I know I do and very attached, so we want to kind of work through that. So we're going to do scissor legs. So left leg up, right leg down, and we're going to lift our shoulders up, and I want you to attempt to touch your big toe. And then we're going to switch. As you switch, this arm goes down with the lowered leg and switch and switch and breathe and breathe. Keep going. Stay lifted. Really hug that belly button back to spine. Tap into your transverse abdominis, your deepest layer of your core that's gonna support your low back. Keep moving. Maybe gaze up towards the sky. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. <sighs> Take a breath. <sighs> okay, coming into plow pose. If plow pose is too much for you, you can take your knees as wide as the yoga mat and let the knees knock in towards one another. Otherwise, elbows come by your sides. We push the elbows into the earth, engage our core, pick up the knees, lift the hips, and send it back overhead. So this might be a really modified plow. For me, this is my first practice of the day. So I'm sitting right here. You can bend the knees, take five breaths. Hands are supporting the low back here.
Last breath. And lower down slowly. I like to bring my hands to the earth. Use your core to lower down. <sighs> okay, coming into figure four, cross your right ankle over your left knee and use your right hand to gently guide the right knee further away from you. That right foot is flexed. Option to stay here or you can thread through and thread the needle, bringing your hands behind your left thigh. This is a deeper version. You choose, we're here for five. Last inhale. If you've got the bind, release. We're crossing the right knee over the left, coming into Supta Gomukhasana. So knees are stacked on top of one another. I want you to use your core to lift up and grab the outside of your ankles. Maybe you're up by your shins. Maybe you're all the way by the knife edge of your feet. Once you've got something to hold on to, relax back down. This is stretching the outer hips. Again, the higher up your hands, the, the less intense the stretch. Five breaths. Release the legs. Figure four on the other side. So right foot plants, left foot crosses over the knee. You can stay right here with this left hand guiding the left knee away from the body. Left foot is flexed. Or you can come in to thread the needle. So binding the hands behind the upper thigh. Five breaths. And we're going to slowly come into Supta Gomukhasana. So cross the knee over, pick up the legs, use your core to lift the shoulders up, grab where you can. The closer you bring the legs towards the face, also the deeper the stretch becomes. So if you're looking for more here, but one point of attention is that, or awareness, is we want our hips anchored to the earth. So if you feel like the left hip is really rising up, I want you to walk your hands further up the legs and not bring them so close towards the face. All right, five breaths, settle in. See if you can relax the shoulders down to the earth, away from the ears. Last inhale, and exhale to release. Coming into full happy baby. Bring those soles of the feet up towards the sky. 
We're bringing our hands to the outer edge of our foot, the knife edge. Soles of the feet are still lifting straight up, so you're flexing the feet. And as you lay down, you're using your arm strength to pull the knees closer to the ground. As you do that and settle in, you can rock from side to side and embody that baby-like nature. So bring a smile to your face, lift the corners of your mouth towards your ears. Hmm. We're here for 10. You can rock and then find stillness, do what feels good. Last inhale, exhale, release the grip on the feet, bring the knees in towards the chest for Apanasana, hug them in however tightly you feel you need in this moment. If you're feeling super relaxed, maybe it's just a really loose hold. If you feel like you really want to hug it in, go for it. Alrighty, big inhale wherever you are. Arms come out to a T. Let your legs, your knees fall over to the left side of your mat. Coming into a supine twist. Once you get there, flip your right hand so the palm is facing up towards the ceiling. And try your best to keep both shoulders on the ground. Especially that right one. Send that right hip to the top of the mat. Get a nice side body stretch. Breathe here. Next, inhale, gently engage your core, bring the knees back up through center, and take it to the other side. So knees fall over to the right, flip the left palm up. And focus your awareness from your left fingertips up through the arm, around the shoulder, down the chest, down the left side body, and send that left hip energetically towards the top of the bat. Breathe all through that side body channel.
Last breath here. Use your core to bring your legs back through to center and extend your legs out long. We're coming into a diaphragm, a diaphragmatic breath exercise. This is really good for calming down the central nervous system, especially when you get into that mode where you're just feeling anxious and overwhelmed. So I want you to bring your hands and rest them right over your belly. With every inhale breath you take, feel your belly expand, your rib cage broaden, and maybe the breath comes just softly up into your collarbone. And as you exhale, just like those bridge waves, I want you to feel the upper chest, the ribs, and the lower belly all deflate in that order. All right? So option to keep your eyes closed or open. On an inhale breath, inflate your belly. Exhale, deflate. Inhale, belly rises. Rib cage expands. Feel the breath rise up through the body. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, feel the belly expand. Exhale, deflate. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. Inhale, expand. Feel your fingertips draw away from one another. Exhale, release. Feel them come towards one another. Keep moving like this. Inhaling to expand the entire belly, rib, and chest cavity. Exhale to deflate and feel yourself draw inward. We'll go for 20 more breaths. I'll let you know when to stop. Keep breathing. In the yoga practice, this breath is called pranayama. Prana meaning your life force, your vitality, and yama meaning to rein in. So using the breath to awaken the life force and then rein in to your body, right? This specific breath is called the dirga breath. It's also called the three-part breath. And as you're breathing, you're feeling your prana fill up in your lower belly, your upper chest, or your middle chest, your rib cage, and then possibly all the way into the upper chest where the pectoral muscles are and the collarbone, maybe up into the shoulders. This is a beautiful breath to create relaxation, to soothe anxiety, overwhelm. And you can use it both to relax and soften like we're doing now. And you can also use it to build heat if you were using it maybe seated or standing. So keep going. Let's do about seven more rounds.
Last breath. Now I recommend you lie here and really notice the effects that this pranayama has on your entire well-being. I'm in a seated position, but again, I really recommend you stay lying down. Sit with the energy that you've just cultivated. Allow yourself to maybe go into a deep shavasana or sleep from here or maybe enter into a meditation practice. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel really light, like you've peeled away a layer that's no longer serving you, or maybe layers, and that you come back to this practice anytime that you need a moment of reprieve. Again, thank you so much. As always, if you're not part of our community yet, please click the link to come join us. And I'll meet you back here to continue practicing yoga and living our journey.